to stone I'm looking in woods hiding from the storm So turn the fear to laughter The light will shine somehow to stone I'm looking in woods hiding from the storm So turn the fear to laughter The light will shine somehow
is to stone I'm looking in woods hiding from the storm So to the fear to laughter the light will shine some to stone I'm looking in woods hiding from the storm So turn the fear to laughter The light will shine somehow to stone I'm looking in woods hiding from the storm So turn the fear to laughter The light will shine somehow
Can you hear me now? Still, still good? Yeah. I can. I can, yeah. Yay! Yay! Okay, new party, party says they can. can. Okay. 
We the party party speak. speak. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Yes, as I was saying, we'd love for you to join us in supporting Bubble Gumshoe. You can find it over on Drive Through RPG. You can also, uh, as um, I, I decided at some point, since we're switching games, that I'd shout out a charity along with the game. And while we play Bubble Gumshoe, we'd love for you to join us in supporting First Nations Development Institute. Spell that different. Hold on, the bot might be dead. Let me see if I can fix that. Uh, anyways, we won't. We are also unfortunately missing Rain. He won't be joining us. Hopefully, Miji will be joining us later. That's why. Because I made the command simple. (laughs) There you go. There's the link. You can go check them out. They do lots of great work. Uh, Economic development. They have youth programs. It's pretty great. I encourage you to check it out. Um, uh, so I will be the storyteller tonight. I'm Nerdy Teddy. You can find me on Twitter at Nerdy Teddy. Uh, Ulfur, you are our guest. Who are you and who are you playing tonight? Hey, hey I am Ulfrig, and, and I am playing, I am playing Casey, Casey Peterson, Peterson, who is a sophomore and a member of the swim team. Awesome. That is good to hear, and I apologize, I forgot to turn on the closed captioning recorder that is on now. So many buttons now. (laughs) And, uh, Jay, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Hi, I am uh, going to be playing Jared Jared Evans, Evans, uh, a military military brat. brat. Uh, uh, middle class, class uh, student, student who wants to be wants the first, the first man, man on the moon. moon. I'm sorry, I'm sorry man, man on Mars. Mars. Awesome. Wolfie and Jay, speak again for me. Hello? Is it still doubled? I should also mention that Casey's pronouns are he, him. Yes, and Jared's pronouns are he, him as well. Awesome. Yes, thank you. So... Normally when I play these games, I like to start out by getting to know your character a little bit, by kind of learning what their morning routine would be. Like, it, it, it's just like a school day, what would Casey and Jared's normal morning look like when they get up for school? I think Casey... Um... It depends on if it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, because the swim club has two a days on Tuesday, (laughs) Thursday. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, he can sleep a little bit, like have a proper breakfast, get all of that. But Tuesday, Thursday, the two a days start at like quarter to six in the morning. So his alarm goes off at like 530 in the morning. And he just kind of rolls out of bed and stumbles um, the four or five blocks down to the pool 
where he jumps in the water and lets that wake him up. Uh, see, I think that uh, Jared is going to be much more regimented regardless of what day, is, <laughs> what day it is. Starts with that 6 a.m. run with his parents, just, you know, get out, uh, get fit, get fit, get exercising. And then uh, start a nice uh, big breakfast, uh, probably some oatmeal, uh, brush the teeth, get, get showered, get dressed, get on the school bus promptly at 7 a.m., get there by 8, first class, you know. Still grab a quick canned coffee drink, chat it up with uh, anyone who's around uh, before the first bell rings. And, you know, he's on time for every class, so he already had his books. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, things are kind of exciting. I for or people are kind of excited. And I forgot to look some things up. I'm not going to do it right now. But I'm just going to go on generic high school idea. Everybody's excited because it looks like for the first time that Redmond has a chance for like state and football, right? Because you have a new star quarterback named Hubert Millen and first time ever you got a 2-0 and start. Hmm. So, everybody's excited. He looks good. He's helping you just take the uh, conference by storm. So, everybody's a little excited. We just won big uh, on Friday. And so there's a little bit of energy to some of the kids in school. At least the kids who... Uh, have the school spirit and care about those things. Um, that's uh, I, I dig it. I I love that we're that we're getting excited about it. As a as a character who'd be new to the school, still I'd be like, hmm, let's this is that school spirit. Let's see how carried away these people get. <laughs> like you know, trying to judge and see how they're gonna do things. Like are we? Are we making mannequins of the other team and like do, and doing things to it, or are we like, uh, are we just holding pep rallies or cheerleader pyramids? Um, right now, it's just pep rallies. <laughs> all right, all right. Can it be a thing where like the other sports teams take turns running the snack stand at oh, the yeah, games? Definitely. And tonight is the swim team's turn to run the snack stand. So Casey has actually gone all out and is like dressed in team colors. And like, is just trying to get the hype out so that they can sell way more popcorn and hot dogs and everything that night. <laughs> nice. Okay. Makes sense. So as the big setup. There, everybody's excited over this. In, in, in small towns, there's always when big news happens, it's always kind of in the back of everybody's mind. But of course, life has to go on. People have to keep doing things. But it's been two weeks since Sarah Dawson went missing. I mean, it's a relatively small school. Um, the you would know if you looked at the locale listings, there are some like unincorporated towns, Logan and Barrywood nearby. They also go to school here. So it's a little more kids than normal, but everybody pretty much knows each other. Um, so, you know, there's, of course, always the Creeks and friends, but you all have a connection to Sarah Dawson. In, the, in those regards, how, how does your character feel? Well, hmm. Jared's probably a little conflicted. Um... On the one hand, the fact that this person has kind of vanished and disappeared doesn't jive well with him. He doesn't like when things don't make sense. Um, 
So he's very much in the combing the newspapers for any kind of information about it he can find and uh, low key being very paying attention to what's happening with it to see uh, if there's any actual movement on locating where she's been. Um, they probably weren't very, very close, but Jared probably got the feeling from Sarah that uh, that, that was a person that was worth making sure that they are okay, and that's something that he's going to definitely make sure that he, he tries to find out. Yeah. What about Casey? I think Casey is very freaked, but trying to, like, power through. Um, he and Sarah were study buddies, um, both taking AP chemistry together, and the fact that she's now just gone, and people are, like, just getting on with things freaks him the hell out because he's like what if i went missing next what if it was one of my closer friends like people are just expecting us to keep going with things and i really want to go look for sarah because i think it's important that we find sarah and talk about the fact that she's been missing for like two weeks now and that's kind of a really long time uh -huh. Yeah, Jared doesn't want to mention the statistics about <laughs> what it says that this that Sarah's been missing for this long. He, mm -hmm. He's he's actively not thinking about that. In fact, I'd say some might say he has a, a almost childish belief that she's going to be found okay and that everything is going to be great. Mm -hmm. Casey does not think that. <laughs> <laughs> Casey wants to think that. Casey does not think that. <laughs> yeah. Pretty typical emotions surrounding it. Confliction is uh, definitely. You can see it on some of the students. Um, and even a couple of the teachers. Like the, our teacher, Mrs. Bunt. Who was pretty obviously Sarah's favorite teacher because she's the art teacher. Um, there is that, and actually, this is kind of your first clue. There's actually one of Sarah's paintings that they it was in the like the showcase, they left it up um, instead of taking it down when they took down the other ones. And this is pain painting, it's just like a, it's all like dark colors and shadows. Except for it looks like there's a door in a tree that opens and like light spills out. Uh, it looks like a normal land, like landscape, from, like the would be found the river, uh, river creek outside of town. You can kind of see the water running through the background. Ooh. And there's and that's a clue. That's that what I got. That's, 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 that's All right. Do I, I and Jared would probably be very bad at this, seeing as how he's new in town. But would he recognize it, that as a location, like the geography of it, as a place that he would notice from hiking trails or um, just local information, like things he's seen around the the town so far? Um, let's see. What do you have? Ooh. Let me see. Let me look at the scale here. I do not have all of them. Uh, for investigative skills, I've got outdoors two, photography one, research one, scholarships one. Okay. If you... If you uh, spent a point, I, I can I'll give you lots of information. Ooh, okay, let's see from from which one. <laughs> uh, from outdoors, if he's outdoors, I'll, yeah, I'll spend a point for outdoors. Okay. Now, uh, so like just note it on your character sheet, you know, just because uh -huh. you you have a pool, so you're still at two, uh, but you're you're at one until you refresh it. 
and that, yeah that gets you you look at it and, and it takes you a moment you notice that it, it seems like an odd painting um but it's something that in the last few days the like in the last few months it's been drawn and painted several times and as you look at this one you notice that if you take the main trail on the we'll call them the Hammond trails and you go about two miles there's a creek and there's like a little rest area for like picnics with like a bench and you recognize the tree from as being the tree across from that bench like on the other side of the creek okay interesting <laughs> and that was the last painting that uh, they say that Sarah made before uh, before the, the last the one that you made at school that's cool got it Hmm. Casey, did you, um, I recognize this, that tree in that painting from, uh, this is, and I described generally the location that I get for him at the, but yes, that definitely that tree that's across from the bench at the end of that trail. It's strange that she painted that like right before here, right before this all happened. Do you, do you think it has something to do with like where she went? I got a hunch, and uh, I'd say at this point, two weeks in, we should play out any hunches. I'm down with that. Yeah, let's check it out. Oh, uh, but when? Um, yeah, I want to grab my I want to grab my my go bag from home first. So <laughs> uh, maybe after uh, maybe after we get out uh, for the day, like we, we busted out there and head to the trail. Uh, I have swim practice. <sighs> okay. All right. And then the well, game. And then, really? yeah. But How? I mean, I guess uh, I'll see what I can do. All right, <laughs> let me know. Uh, question uh, for in terms of what we should expect from this world: Do we have cell phones? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Just message me when you find out, Tal. I'll uh, be waiting at the in front of the school until uh, I, I, I hear from you, and then I'll head out. Okay, will do. All right, so uh, I continue to ponder what uh, if there's ponder what could be the significance of this painting in her last days, but uh, yeah, think... and wait for the day to end. <laughs> Uh, to the end of the day. Um, Casey has, let's say, a swim coach is also one of his teachers. Um, I think I had them as Miss Winthrop. Um, so he is going to um, absolutely play it up that he is not feeling well and that he's like powering through the school day but oh man just maybe not getting in the water today um and like just yeah maybe you know would it be okay if just for this one day i skipped it coach and like i can come in on sunday and do the workout maybe See. Where did my relationships go? Oh no. Um, 
don't have your character sheet open. Do you have ability scores actually? For Yes. Uh oh. Um. If you, I've got if you, sorry, go ahead. Uh, um what, what's his ability? Uh, I've got a grown-up face of two and a performance of one. Okay. In which case, let me actually change that. Okay. Um, right. C Casey, and when do you when did you say you got sick? I don't know. I just like ever since lunchtime, I just like you know. I'm really okay. sorry, Mrs. Winthrop. Look, here's the deal. You can get out of practice today, but then you're gonna have to swim off against uh, Frederick's in fair spot. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say uh, that hurts Casey, but he'll go for it. <laughs> oh, 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 good luck on that. Good luck. Rolled a five on, on Mrs. Winthrop's uh, BS. So, right, <laughs> definitely knew you were. <clears throat> All right. Knew I was faking it. Yeah, knew you were faking it. <laughs> yeah. So tried to push your hand to stay, basically. Um, <laughs> but we'll we'll come back to Frederick since you're going to head off with Jay then. Right on, right on. All right. <laughs> How do I know this terrain? Is it, is it a pretty easy hike? We don't need to prepare that much, right? Yeah, it's pretty easy hike. Got it. Like, like I said, it's a couple miles, but this part is mostly flat, so you don't have a lot of hills or anything. Well-established trail, that kind mm -hmm. of thing. I'm going to bring my, just in case, I'm going to bring my, you know, my prep bag and, uh, Put on my hiking boots before we go out there, just in case we need to to be more prepared. You know, <laughs> the right pair of kicks matter. <laughs> and I meet up with Casey. I'm like, "Yo, it worked. I can come." Smooth, smooth. All right, let's. Uh, it should be pretty easy. Uh, it's gonna be about two miles, so we'll get there in like you know. 30 minutes tops. Yeah, sounds good. Let's do the thing. You Meanwhile, real? Casey is carrying like all of his school bags in his backpack and wearing like vans. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thematically appropriate clothing. Yeah. <laughs> I can I can hear the CW music playing in the background as we yes! walk away from the school right now. <laughs> I don't want to wait for my <laughs> life to be over. Yes, one thousand percent. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So some time passes. You and you get to this this picnic area. You you can see the tree. You can, I mean, you, can, you want to go look around by the tree and see what you can find? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's definitely going to be our first thing, is to check the tree over. Okay. Who has the highest computers or the highest oh. outdoors? Okay. Um, computers, I have uh, a big zero in... I have a two uh, in computers. 
Yeah. Nice. My outdoors, I have a two in. Okay. So, since you're both tied, you see it at the same time. There's almost hidden in the leaves is a little black like USB flash drive. I pointed out and probably at the same time Casey says there. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's not natural. That doesn't grow on trees. Yeah. I run over and like with my cell phone take like a gazillion pictures of it for evidence. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then um pick it up and like just kind of hold it out to Jared like well now what, what do we do with it? Hang on, I think I brought my mini uh my mini laptop here with me. Let's see what's on it maybe. Uh preparedness roll? <laughs> I mean, it's it's still like a, a clue. Like you haven't found out what's on it. So if Ooh. you have if you have like your little Chromebook on you, you can plug uh-huh. in and get to look at what's on there, which is a video file showing the football coach Jeffrey Davis and Hubert Millen, the star quarterback. They appear to be uh, using some sort of performance ha- enhancing drug. Like, and oh. uh, somebody got it on camera. Oh boy. Uh oh. <laughs> Do we recognize the coach? Yeah. Like, you, uh, you can see both of them clearly in the. Video. Oh boy. Um, I can't believe this. So, do you think Sarah found out about it, and then, and then, and then what? Mm, made a painting showing the tree where she hit this flash drive. It doesn't look like the flash drive was hidden. It looks more like it was dropped. But there's a door in the tree. Yeah, you don't see a door in the tree. That was oh, like so. the painting. Yeah. Ah, got it, got it. I'm going to start poking the tree bark <laughs> <laughs> to see if it does anything. Yeah, nothing happens right now. You don't, you don't notice anything different with the tree? I take the USB drive and try sticking it into the bark. Yeah, that <laughs> <laughs> it was worth a shot. I hand it back to Jared. <laughs> okay, so we, our friend Sarah saw it goes missing, and her last painting is a tree that's features that's featured. And when we get to the tree, we find a lost thumb drive. That implicates our star quarterback and the football coach are using steroids. Basically, is that seems like a big coincidence. I, I gotta gotta believe that that's related somehow. Yeah, I mean, like it would be nice to get to state and stuff, but like, why? I mean. Milling could probably get a scholarship without this, right? Like, All right. are we gonna are we gonna go ahead and ask the question? Do we think that the football coach and the quarterback have decided to hurt Sarah in some way in order to prevent this information from getting out? Do we do we think that Sarah was the person who had this information? Is the first is I guess the first question we should start with. Casey absolutely thinks Sarah had this information. Jared is on the fence about it. <laughs> uh, it seems like a really big coincidence, but I guess he I guess he would say he's about eighty percent sure. Yeah, she had it, but like it could be that someone dropped it here mm-hmm. just randomly, <laughs> but it doesn't just seem like likely, you know. <laughs> um. Okay, so. 
I guess if that's the case, our next our next question thing to be should be to talk to the quarterback in the face of the football coach and see if they're squirrely about what happened to Sarah. Yeah. We should do that. All right. Um, <laughs> have the have the football coach and the quarterback met me before? I'm probably not cool enough, and I'm also very new in town. But Jared's a pretty big athletic guy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm a, a very fit person, so... I, like I probably look like I should be on the football team, even though I'm not. <laughs> My guess would be someone said, "Hey, do mm -hmm. you play football?" Asked you if you played football. Um, Got gotcha. you. Probably met Millen in passing, like in gym class or something. All right, all right. So I got an idea. Mm -hmm. All right. The quarterback doesn't know me from Adam, right? Like, I, he, he's probably seen my face in the hall once or twice. But if I go home, grab my dad's suit, and uh, dig up an old badge that I had from a cosplay I did for uh, the TV show Supernatural a couple of years ago, I could probably convince this guy that we're, that I'm a representative of some kind of federal investigation service. <laughs> And uh, get him to spill all the beans. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like every word in that sentence went somewhere I did not expect it to from the previous one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> now. Do you want to try to talk to him before the game? Ooh, that's right. That's the same day as the game. Mm-hmm. What, I kind of do because it was, like out of character I kind of do because it was extra pressure on him to get to like get this stuff handled quickly but then I'm like would it be hard for me to like walk in there and talk to him so probably need to wait until he's more isolated so that there's less people that could call this bluff <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna say we'll have to wait till after the game to talk to him like that is there gonna be like some sort of party or anything does the football team usually go to like somewhere after the game and cool down or like yeah you've definitely heard rumors of a after party mm -hmm. especially if they win okay maybe we're not cool enough to be invited to that after party yet but we can we could probably find out we can probably find mm -hmm. out casey what's your cool my cool is not good. Um, <laughs> uh, cool is oh, it's better than I thought. It's a seven. Oh yeah, that's better. that's good. Cool. So, uh, and what's Jared's cool? Jared's cool is a five. So, Casey, you've heard more about the party than. Jared. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. There's a new guy in town. Exactly. But also, nobody's nobody's gonna blink an eye if both of you show up together. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, since we're not going, since we're gonna wait and talk to the quarterback after the fact. Mm -hmm. Do we want to try to talk to the football coach before the, the game? Ooh. Gut says no, because what if he talks to the quarterback and warns Millen that we're, like, asking questions and stuff? <sighs> Only if he snoops out what we're trying to do to him, though, like, is my yeah. thoughts. Like... If he's got nothing to hide, then and he did nothing. And, okay, the main thing is we want to find out if they had anything to do with Sarah, with Sarah's disappearance. So if he's got nothing to hide about that, it's either going to be pretty obvious to us, or it's going to be pretty obvious that he's trying to hide it. Like, mm -hmm. I is what I would say. So getting him, 
and giving uh, and giving him on record one way or another on that is uh, is kind of where Jared is. He also kind of thinks he wants to get them answering separately before they've had time to talk. Mm-hmm. But you're right; we could maybe wait for that as well too. So, hmm. I'll, he'll leave it up to Casey. If Casey thinks it's probably it's best to wait, he'll go ahead and say, "All right, let's wait then." If we catch the coach like right after the game, and then catch um, Millen at the after party, that'd be ideal. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. Good call. All right. I assume we had that conversation on the walk back from the tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Another option that you have while you wait for the game and stuff, you could go talk to Sarah's mom, Franny. That is an option if you want. You might be able to learn something. Casey, have you seen, um, what is her last name? Dawson? Yeah. Have you seen Miss Dawson lately? I uh, ran into her at the grocery store with my dad a while ago. Um, like yeah. last weekend. She she she's not doing great. I got I, for some reason maybe it's because I just because I felt I found that thing in the picture. I just feel the need to try and talk to her now about this. Um, I don't want to tell her anything we're suspecting yet, of course, because. It's a little early, yeah. but uh, I feel like she should. I feel like we should touch bases with her, maybe. Yeah. When my grandma died, everyone brought over food. Maybe we could take her food. <laughs> Let me check my pockets here. I got uh, <laughs> twenty bucks. We can get a eight piece KFC bucket. Me <laughs> <laughs> think is that is that gonna know? I don't. I reckon, yeah, I think that'll do. <laughs> so. I, back at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, where I came from, this would have been great, but I don't know how <laughs> you guys do things here. <laughs> I mean, yeah, everyone likes chicken, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, chicken's good. Chicken's, chicken's good. Chicken's good? Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. So to get chicken, you'd have to go to the, the grocery store to more of everything, get like a bucket mm-hmm. of deli chicken. Oh, yeah, we <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get, her, I get the rotisserie. Yes. I display chicken. <laughs> the freshest looking one they have. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, you do that. And like a container of like coleslaw and a container mm-hmm. of potatoes and call there it good. Go. So, it's on the show with just chicken. <laughs> <laughs> This is like such the high school way of doing things. Like people take food, right? <laughs> oh let's no, go, man. Let's go get some cheap and shitty food and take it. <laughs> <laughs> got twenty bucks. That's the maximum we can spend on this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so uh, mm-hmm. I have driving the skill, but I don't know if I have an actual vehicle. If you want to have a vehicle or like at least something like that your parents let you drive go for okay it. all right I'll, I'll take something that i can drive so that way we can get around a little bit after we we can run to the grocery store and that like my it's like a an 89 honda <laughs> yes casey's 15 so he's still on his learner's permit Nice. Yeah. i just got off mine and it was i took me and i saved up uh, cutting grass, cutting grass all summer mm-hmm. in that North Carolina heat, and uh, this is what I got. This is old Becky. Mm-hmm. Sounds pretty. <laughs> the grass cutting part sounds pretty awful, but this car is pretty cool. That's right. Taps the uh, tap the dashboard. Just this big gulp of smoke comes out of the tailpipe. <laughs> pow, pow, like chitty chitty bang bang. <laughs> Oh my god, does it actually have like a tape player? I haven't seen yeah, a tape player. That's, a, that's actually what I and I had to check with my my grandpa on this. That's called an eight track player. No. I don't know why they that didn't come standard on the eighty nine Honda Accord. Someone put that in there 
on purpose. <laughs> they were like, I want to go down in quality of my music. <laughs> and I put an eight track player. Do you know that the eight track players can't go in reverse? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't go in reverse. <laughs> so you don't get any of the like wah 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 type. You gotta so play weird. it the whole way through, and then wait for it to get done, and it'll loop itself back around. <laughs> oh my God. You can't back up an eight track for eight player. You can't even like plug your phone into it. Like this is. <laughs> you, can't, you can't like get one of them. Uh, no, we got no aux cord. We got no aux The aux cord you can plug in. <laughs> oh, that's rough. <laughs> the old Becky gets me where I need to go, though. <laughs> nice. So we eventually make it to. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. The fun thing about living in a small town is too, you get like two stations really good, and they're both classic rock. And you might get some fuzzy music on some. Because <laughs> those invisible mountains you never see are always blocking your signal somehow. Yeah, you get the beat channel. Mm -hmm. It's just like old swing music. Mm hmm. You go AM, there's like that one station that they play at the old folks' home <laughs> that comes through, and like people only ever tune into it when the weather gets really rough. And the other channel is a Steely Dan cover band 24 7. <laughs> you didn't know Steely Dan had that many songs, but <laughs> they don't know that many songs. <laughs> <laughs> it's much like the Jack Jack. <laughs> Yeah, so you, you get that? Then we pull up in front of the house. I assume the brakes screech a little bit as they as come to a stop in front of the house. It's just like a simple two story house. Um, some like bushes and shrubs out front. Nothing special. Here we go. All right. I uh, straightened up myself a little bit because I'm meeting someone's mom. Mm -hmm. Casey holds the like coleslaw in front of him like a shield. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to make sure none of this chicken grease gets on my, my clothes, but uh, here, here we are. I, I'm going to ring the bell. Give one last look to Casey just to be like, here we go. <laughs> yeah, you ring the bell. You hear it. One moment, somewhere in the house. A few seconds later, the door opens. And there's like a. She's like, this is Dawson's mid 40s. Um, but her hair's already graying a little bit. Um, she's like maybe 5'5 five five on the shorter side, a little bit bigger. Um, she's wearing a, a Redmond Alchemist softball team hoodie. Hi, Mrs. Dawson. We brought you food and um, wanted to see how you're doing. Um, thank you. Um, come in. Come in. And, and she'll lead you to the kitchen. Uh, when you get there, you can already see, like, out just on the counter, just a couple of casserole dishes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> already People already brought food. All right. Yep. Tuna salad and mac and cheese and enchiladas with no oh. spice in them. Okay, yeah. I think I got some chicken casserole in here. And Jared's going to look for some of that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so now we have to do that hard thing, which is to make small talk with a person mm. who's had a seriously traumatic event happen. And the only thing I can think of is to ask, uh, so, Miss Dawson, any news? And just go ahead and address it right on the front mm -hmm. and be like, we're, we're, you know why we're here. <laughs> 
No, not not really. Any news though? I mean, a couple of days ago the police stopped by because they thought they had her on camera and yeah, in Salem and but I don't think it was Salem. Her. Yeah, it didn't look like it was her. Uh, they thought it might be. I didn't agree, but oh, that's the closest thing we've had to news. Wow, uh, Salem. That's it. It's, um, I don't know from range. Is that pretty far away from where she was last seen? Yeah, I mean it's pretty far from Redmond. It's like a couple hour drive. Mm. Okay. So, like, what are they still looking? Yeah. So I, they, I guess they put together a search party and were coming the woods all day today. But Casey is thinking, then why didn't we see them on the hiking trail? Mm. But they, uh, they didn't tell. Uh, they told me they didn't find anything. Casey is going to look very significantly over at Jared. Like, do we say something? Whew. Um. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> I, I, like I'm gonna take an actual moment here and out of character and think about whether that was because mm -hmm. so on one hand I'm like I would love to be able to give this lady some reassurance that maybe there's hope out there. But on the other hand, like again, we don't know for certain this is all tied together. Mm -hmm. um, I, I guess what we could we should definitely do though. And when you give me that look, I will go ahead and mention. Uh, so, Miss Dawson, I, I checked out uh, Sarah's last painting that she made in class the other day, and I gotta tell you, her work is always just so beautiful. And, and this one, it struck me because it was a tree that we'd seen in one of our hikes before when we used to uh, go out around on one of those trails. Um, was that a special treat? She never mentioned it to me, but it, it showed up. So she got it so perfect. It seemed like something she'd seen before and was really familiar with, you know? I, I, she never talked about it to me, but I mean, if you want, you can you can, like, you can can look at like some of her paintings and stuff that she has in her room. I know she definitely painted a tree a lot. I think, yeah, I definitely wouldn't mind uh, that if uh, you yeah, don't mind. If you're okay with that, yeah, that'd be cool. You know. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'll um, I'll bring you kids some some lemonade. You you, you go on up. It's the first store on the the left upstairs. Thanks, Mrs. Dawson. <laughs> yeah. So, her room is kind of a typical teenager room, you know, there's laundry on the floor, there's a few posters, bands, or stuff, but there's, like, charcoal drawings and paintings all over the bed. <laughs> uh, there, you see... Like a similar scene, <laughs> right? In a lot of these paintings, but you notice some of them are different trees, but all hmm. are painted to look like they have a door in them. Uh, and there's mm. <laughs> wait a second, I want to make sure I heard that right. So these, these all these different trees, and they're mm -hmm. all painted to have like a door in them somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Casey's gonna wander around and just like snap photo after photo of all of the different paintings so that he's got them on his phone uh, I guess I'm gonna start a voice log of what we're seeing here uh, <laughs> because yes. at, this, at this point we're in a full investigation because because that's wild <laughs> 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 
Um, again, and if as as Casey goes around and snaps a picture of each, I want to look at the tree and see, make sure I don't, you know, recognize it again. Um, as anything that pops out, kind of like, oh, this this tree's from here. This tree is on this trail. Just so we can have a matching record of this photo to this tree. Out of character, can we totally do the thing where we get like a map of the area and put the little pins in it and then like <laughs> yes! connect a string to the picture that Sarah drew? I, I can't wait for the rest of the people to show up so we can figure out how we're going to set up our like our like hide our hideout so we can have like one of the yes. spider boards on there with like the mm-hmm. yarn and yep. the Peppy Sylvia yep. written in it. <laughs> Peppy Sylvia. It's just going to look like that gif from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but, okay. Either our friend Sarah was having some type of episode or this is yeah. like hundreds of trees. Like, she uh, like trees. Dozens of trees with doors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't recognize all of them. Some of them are like recognizable landscapes and anything, but you recognize a couple of them. Uh, you recognize the tree that is in f- like in front of the gates for the uh, Hillmeyer Briggs Bottling Company. Uh-huh. Like there's like the gates for the parking lot and there's a tree out in front. You recognize that tree and you recognize they they like the t- uh the mayor had like a eco friendly drive at one point and they planted like three trees downtown. <laughs> oh man. And one of those trees is in one of these drawings. Otherwise, the rest of them just are like random trees you'd find on the you're on a hike through the woods. Is there anything in terms of like the doors? Like they are all painted. Like there's glowing light coming yeah, out like of them. Like is, they're open. And is the light them. always like the same color? Is it different colors? Like ah, uh, it's always like a white yellow white you know like you would get from a a light bulb okay so hmm. Hmm. okay i point those out to casey if uh if casey didn't recognize those as well and um i'm like okay i recognize that tree that's the one in front of the bottling company and I recognize this one over here from me, from these three from me downtown, when the mayor tried to do that green initiative you guys told me about. Oh, yeah. So. Uh, um, that was so lame. That's... Y'all had to volunteer for it. it All right. A good thing. <laughs> that, I'm so glad I missed that. <laughs> yeah, it sucked. It was a lot of digging holes. <laughs> they just made us clean the creek back in my home, back in my school for that. So. The whole day in your waiters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a couple other clues here. Um, so one of you finds a, a separate stack of drawings. These all appear to be in various locations downtown, like outside of shops. But they're all of like a, a man wearing like a trench coat with like a big hat with a brim on it but in each picture he doesn't have a face oh my god do you think she was tracing the drug dealer (laughs) okay i'm sorry let me have the description of what the person looked like again it just looks like like an adult man wearing like a trench coat and a big hat but you don't see a face like there's no face drawn in any of the pictures and there's like a stack of 10 of them I mean, it kind of looks like she was fighting the Highlander here. I mean, like, what is what's this trench coat and giant hat? Maybe he's the drug dealer. That seems 
That seems either very like fifteenth noir drug dealer or like very like. Uh, I don't. I mean, because like he's going to stand out is what I'm thinking there. Like, like if you you're not going to blend in as you try to try to make your trade. I don't know. I've only ever gotten drugs at school. I don't know what this is like. And then it's and he realizes what he said and then like looks over his shoulder like okay she's his mom's not here her mom's not here okay <laughs> like jared turns and be like who are you buying drugs from at school you know it's not gonna be good quality <laughs> it's like the easiest place to get weed like, um, i mean like dirt weed uh, it does yeah. kind of suck a little bit right right Okay, listen, we'll talk we'll talk about getting you a better supply later on. But, yeah. but right now <laughs> let's think let's think about I forgot what we were actually doing for a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and then on, on like a dresser, there's like a couple of paintings leaning up against the wall. One of you moves one of them aside and you actually find legit clue board with yarn and everything oh holy crap i yes. thought we were, i was just kidding about that early <laughs> i kind of was too but now that it's here i'm so excited pictures pictures it's a picture and a big name it's a cynthia crawford now jay might not know but casey would know Cin- of, of cynthia crawford because two years ago cynthia cynthia crawford or I'm sorry, did I say Crawford? I meant... Let me check that name. Crenshaw. Crenshaw. No, Crenshaw. Oh. Cynthia Crenshaw. Oh, good. There's going to be so much supermodel confusion <laughs> with that name. <laughs> I was worried about that. I was like, oh man, I'm going to mess that up. Uh, Cynthia Crenshaw. Cynthia sorry, Crenshaw. Cool. Sorry. She passed away in a tragic accident. But by the looks of whatever Sarah was doing here, she thought somebody was behind it. And it looks like among her top suspects was Hubert Millen, who Cynthia was dating at the time. But there's also, she has like one string that leads to like a blank spot where she put like a piece of paper with question marks on it. Oh my goodness, okay. Most of this makes no sense to you because you don't know what she was thinking when... She drew, like, lines to classmates and stuff. <clears throat> but the, the line that we could make out was one that went to, from Cynthia's boyfriend to her? Or, okay. What was that boyfriend's name again? Uh, that's Millen, the quarterback. Oh, oh man. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and Maybe is... we have two things to talk to him about. Mm-hmm. I don't like that idea a whole lot, though. Well, I think we're going to be careful when we talk to him. Yeah. <clears throat> These football dudes, you know, especially if he's using drugs to help his performance, he's going to—he might have a short temper, and he could have freak strength for like short periods of time. Ugh. Roid rage. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's gonna have back knee, like worse than usual back knee. Terrible back knee. It's gonna be awful for him. Ew. Maybe we don't have to talk to him. Maybe we just have to like see him like without his shirt and see if he has terrible back knee, and then. We'll <laughs> hey, are you, uh, you gonna seduce this guy and get his shirt off? Is what I'm hearing. Uh, it, no, that's not what I'm saying. No. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Casey is like bright fucking red. <laughs> Come on, dude. I'm just messing with you. Uh, okay, okay. But listen, I mean, I think that we need something a little bit more conclusive than bad back knee. Like, 
Like, you know, last week I ate a, I ate Taco Bell three days and I woke up and looked like my face looked like I was going to do a feature in the next episode of The Walking Dead. Like, <laughs> you know, the chemicals in our bodies right now are just they're nuts. They're going haywire. Eh? We can't all look like Finn Wolfhard. No, not everyone. Uh, Casey turns bright freaking red again. <laughs> <laughs> What we got here is a classic situation where a friend has apparently stumbled onto something that might have gotten her hurt. And we got to track it down quickly to figure out what they've done it. I feel like we got to make a move, sadly, and get it and get it rocking here because that's two things in McKinley in it now, the QB. Mm-hmm. Two reasons for her to, if, if he found out one, that our friend had incriminating ev- was had, was at a site that had incriminating evidence about him doing drugs to prevent her, his football career. And two, if he finds out that, you know, we know that she had, I'm assuming an older girl, an older woman, girlfriend, and a and that person has come up missing as well. Oh, uh, Cynthia, it was a car accident like last year Hmm. well they said it was an accident you know but yeah I'd like to get a look at the reports on that could do that yeah I wonder if well, first of all, let me look at the board and see if Sarah has that just lying around maybe Sarah might have Mm -hmm. gotten that thought too there's a newspaper clipping okay I break out my magnifying glass. Boom. <laughs> oh. Casey, look at this. We go in full hardy boys on this. <laughs> Boop. 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 Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's photos. Nothing seems out in the ordinary with the photos. Now, the article lists a problem with the brakes in Cynthia's car as the cause as the apparent cause for the accident yeah brake line it says here according to the uh, local gazette and since it's a year old that crime scene is pretty much toast for us to try and get any new information out of so Mm -hmm. we're gonna have to assume for now that the local PD did their work and got it right. But that doesn't necessarily mean that someone didn't tamper with the brake line and do it in such a way. Here's how I would do it. <laughs> and then, Jerry, then outlines <laughs> how you would tamper with the brake line in such a way that you would do it so it looks like an accident, <laughs> which is actually you, you set it up someone to, to, to die. And I'm basically that on my repair for knowledge four, and then I would understand how you would set that up. <laughs> So that's probably what we're dealing with here if we think this is all related. Someone has done this to Miss Crenshaw. And that same person probably has also has our friend. How long has the quarterback been on a hot streak, by the way? This is the first year that we've had a chance for State. So 2 0 opener. Did he get good like at the end of last season? Was he on a hot streak at camp this summer? Uh- he, like, he had a decent season last season, enough to get him on the map mm-hmm. in terms of like college recruiting and stuff. Cool. But he's definitely been on a hot streak more since camp than last season. Mm-hmm. And how long ago did Cynthia die? I just said last year, meaning any time before the start of the school year. And that may or may not be accurate. Yeah. <laughs> um, last year is in... Uh, last August. Just before school would have started. Okay.
There's just too many coincidences. Something about this smells real fishy. There's just too many coincidences surrounding mm-hmm. McMillan. And I know that we've only gotten to two, to two of those, but I definitely want to... I think our next step, Casey, honestly, was while we're on the street here, we should run over and check the bottling plant, that tree, make sure there's nothing there. And also check the... Um, the other location that I remember, and, um, good thing I wrote this down. Uh, oh, and also check those trees downtown to see if there's anything there, like flash drives or what have you. That's a good idea, yeah. All right, let's make about 15 more minutes to, to talk, small talk with uh, Miss Dawson, mm-hmm. and then we'll I'll say we got to leave early for the thing to set up for the game. Okay. Easy enough. You make some small talk and head out. Mm-hmm. What do you want to go first? Working closer to the football stadium to get ready for the game. Okay. So whichever is so, so further the from there would be farther away from the stadium. All right. So the factory's on the other side of town. Let's go there first. <laughs> yep. Let's do it. I open her up. <laughs> Come on, Becky. <laughs> and More Steely Dan comes out of the radio, but sounding all staticky. <laughs> See, here'd be great if I do any Steely Dan songs. <laughs> I know. I'm sitting here going, "What did they even do?" <laughs> Steely Dan songs. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like if BT was here, he'd be able to help us with this or something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, yeah, so there's like um, a skeleton like maintenance crew because the factory runs on uh, a ro- rotating one 12 hour like 12 hour shift so they have one group on for three days, then off for four, and then the other one switches in. Mm-hmm. They don't run at night, uh, except for maintenance and sanitation. Maybe some like dock workers and stuff if there's shipping that needs to be done. Are we going to be able to... This tree is in the parking lot, right? So we should be able to park and walk over to the tree yeah, without having to do Cool. Let's try to make this as non-suspect as possible. So I guess I'm going to do a leisurely walk over, like stretch a little bit first, and then like... <laughs> uh, yeah, you... you know... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll bring maybe a Frisbee with me. <laughs> Yeah, just so playing frisbee out by the bar. Just frisbee it up. <laughs> as you're walking over, like you, you look around. You know, like you do the thing where you like look around, and when you look back at the tree, you actually think you both think you see it for a moment, and you see a door close on the tree. Whoa! What the hell was that? Did you see that? Did you, yeah. What was tell that? Tell me you saw that. Well, back up, back up, back up. <laughs> I, like, I, I take a few steps back towards the car. <laughs> okay. It looked like there was an actual door in that tree, right? Yeah, it totally did. And and we didn't smoke any weed before we got here, right? Like, just to make sure? Okay. Like, just want to make sure that I, like, sometimes, you know, you forget. <laughs> is what I've been told. <laughs> so... You definitely got way better weed than I do. <laughs> so, Casey's gonna run over and pick up a stick on I, the ground. Ca- careful, the dude! Careful, careful, dude! I'm using a stick. I it's... mean, you don't know it could have like a ten foot reach. <laughs> a ten foot? It's a door. How does a door have reach? What's on the other side poke, of the door, poke, dude? Poke, poke, poke. Okay, fair point. But poke, uh-huh, poke, poke, uh-huh. poke, poke. The tree. <laughs> Seems perfectly normal now. Now, oh, look now you've done it. Mm-hmm. I, I, 
get it. What? You give me a second. Give me a second. I got something. All for right, this. all right. I got something for this. Um, I'm gonna like take out a cigarette lighter and like hold it to where I think the door where the seams would be and see if like it breathe if it blows air, sucks air towards it. Are you threatening the tree? No, I'm not threatening the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I need a much bigger fire source <laughs> to threaten this tree. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Like, because the bottling plant's probably going to be really pissed if we burn down their tree. If, but if there's, like, a room behind this, there might be, you know, air coming through it. So. Okay. Yes. It, it does. There's, there's something behind this. There's something... Okay, I take a couple more steps back towards the car. <laughs> if there's a space inside this tree <laughs> that is see like where it would open and there's no door handle, there's nothing, you can't see seams, but when you hold the lighter up to the tree, it, it you know, like it's the flame flickers towards the tree. We should have checked that at the other tree. We should have checked that at the other tree. I am completely frozen in terror right now. What do you? What, what should we do here? I feel like I definitely feel like the two of us might not be enough for whatever is grabbing people from the other side of trees. Maybe I've scared myself now. I've scared myself. <laughs> There's a lot of assumptions in there. That... I mean, I'm just saying. We're dealing with a, with a strange mystery, and and now we've got a tree that has that had a door a second ago that disappeared. Yeah, but that doesn't mean there's like creatures behind it. It could just be that someone else found the doors. And Casey, Casey, oh if my there's, gosh! If there's doors and trees, anything is possible. Which, speaking of, do either of you have town lore? I don't have town lore. <laughs> I have a one in town lore. That is enough. <laughs> Jen, Jen knows some of this too, because some of it's pretty common, because it's a big part of the tourism for Redmond. There's a local little cryptid called the Bay Rat. It's basically just a giant rat <laughs> with wings. Oh, so why fuck. isn't it called the Bay Bat? Because... <laughs> mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I am so sorry, Teddy. I did not mean to break that. <laughs> I, I didn't come up with it. I asked for help. <laughs> Rain came up with it. and It's, it's a good one. It, it, it's basically just a rat um, with, with wings. A giant rat with wings. Uh, like There's a town statue. You can buy shirts yes. the reason the football team's named the alchemist is because some of the original lore says an alchemist is the one that created the bay rat so so very like the mothman but yes, new exactly. england cool uh there's of course, there's always sightings. There's a couple people that say they've seen it. There's a little place in town called Daryl's Bay Rat Tours. Daryl's Bay Rat Tours. Yeah. He takes takes tours out, and so they can go bay rat hunting and. Bay rat. <laughs> Please tell me there's also like a group of local cryptid enthusiasts who object to the term hunting. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. When I hunt the bay rat, what do I do with the meat? Do I eat that or <laughs> is that a catch and release strictly kind of thing? Uh, it would. Daryl doesn't have license to bring guns on the. <laughs> <laughs> right on, right on, right on. Okay. Catch and release. 
So it's more of a more of a, a net hunting. Like I hit it with a net and, and scoop it up. Yeah. yeah. Or spawning, you know, taking taking pictures and stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, can I take one of these rats home and put it in a maze and then <laughs> It'd be a big maze? And, oh, oh, well, man, yeah, that's true. Because it's a giant rat with wings. Yeah. With wings. Imagining the giant rat flying up above the maze and then just like, oh, there's the exit. So, I'm sorry, if you describe that to Jared, he's going to immediately be like, I'm sorry, you're saying that your weed's not good enough again? Like, (laughs) do you actually believe that thing exists? Like, what is wrong with this town? There's no genuine scientific evidence that this thing exists, but, you know, sometimes it, there's also a lot we don't know. That's all I'm saying. Hold on, Casey. You're sounding like one of those uh, one of those guys who has a tree stand in Oregon who's who's making sure that Sasquatches that take over. You know, like absence of proof is not proof of absence. True, true, true. Mm -hmm. So it's possible. It's like ridiculously unlikely, but it's possible. I guess I got to keep my mind a little bit more open. You're right. You're right. Oh. Okay. So. This this thing, uh, the bog rat, bay rat, bay rat. I'm sorry, a rodent of unusual size. I would say <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, and why it's relevant, Casey? Because you see large, like paw prints that could be a rat prints leading up to the tree. Or it could be a dog's. Yeah. Or something. Um, I have outdoors. Um, and I'm trying to see if I have anything else that would help with this. Uh, no, I think it's probably going to be all outdoors for determining if that is if conclusively determining what that kind of tracks these are that are leading up to it. Okay. Yeah. They're most likely dog prints like a small dog a small dog small dog but looks like someone's be. chihuahua but they <laughs> could be a big <laughs> rat like they're, they're weird paw prints in a way but it's also muddy soft ground so it could just be because of that or it could be in a, a large large rat oh boy I can't believe that that's something else we have to investigate now. That is, that is spiraling. I mean, people have been talking about the bay rat for like a hundred years or more. So you know, it's it's not like we got to solve it or anything. Okay, I guess that's a good. I mean, but it's if it's tied up in the Sarah thing, I'm, which I'm hoping not. Let me be honest with you. The bay rat kind of seems like the kind of thing that is going to end. Um, in us discovering so one of those truths that we don't want to find out. Yeah. Or we do uh, and we make, like, we sell the evidence to the National Enquirer for, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Do, do the Smithsonian still buy specimens Smith, Smith like that? Or do we do we gotta go to, like, Ringland Brothers and see if they want to, like, a sideshow the Bay Rat? I don't know. To be, to be decided. To be decided. The Smithsonian <laughs> might buy it if you can prove it's real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Oh, hey, everybody. Thanks for the raid new to the party. Uh, we are playing Bubble Gumshoe right now, and my alerts are all messed up. I'm going to fix that real quick. Anyways, uh, we are playing Bubble Gum Shoot, which is a mystery investigative game, and they are trying to figure out what happened to their friend, Sarah Dawson, and they're learning some weird things that might be happening around town, as well as they suspect that the star quarterback for the town, Hubert Millen, is in over his head 
But he's also definitely doping. You have video proof of that. He's 100% doping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, there might be a cryptid involved with all of this somehow. Known and as doors the Bay and Rat. Trees. And doors and trees. And doors and trees. Oh, and thank you, Bisonic, for following. Oh, thank you, guys. All right. We're actually almost on well, break time ourselves. Is there one last thing you want to do before we go to break? There was the other tree that we could check out, the one oh, downtown. Right. Yeah, let's see the downtown tree. Yeah. Alfred takes notes. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. The the uh, downtown tree. You don't notice anything too awkward about it. Uh, except for like a shoe print in the mud surrounding the tree, but it it doesn't seem special. It's definitely probably somebody who went to your high school's footprint, but it looks like a van, so it could probably be anybody. <laughs> no boy. I take my shoe and hold it up like right next to the footprint and take a picture. Is it bigger or smaller than my footprint? It's smaller. It'd be okay. smaller than Casey's. So it's either a girl or a freshman. Uh, <laughs> Teenager logic, yo. <laughs> So, wait a second, wait a second. Is this a fresh footprint, or is it looking old? It's looking old. Looks old. Okay, good. Because I was like, if it was uh, too new, it would be probably be not a person. Has it rained in the last two weeks? You rained, uh, like, 16 days ago. Okay, good. Before good. or That's... after Sarah went missing? Before. Okay. Did Sarah wear vans? Mm. Uh, do you have a skill you think would be related to this? To, to specifically trying to remember? An ability, um... I guess, they're called in this? Okay, fashion is zero, so it wouldn't be that. Notice <laughs> is one. Okay. Um, if, you, if you want to spend your notice from your pool, you can get more information. Yeah, I'll go ahead and spend my notice point. Yeah, you're pretty sure that Sarah, that you've seen Sarah wear vans. Do these look to be about the same size? Yes. Dude, I think it might be Sarah's footprint. Like, I don't know that it's Sarah's footprint, but it might be Sarah's footprint. Okay. Hmm. Well, she has, well, she, we know she's been here. It would line up and make sense that it would be her footprint. Um, can I look for another one to see if there's like a trail of them to see where, if we can mm -hmm. follow where it goes? Just, just along, and it like it's as if he was walking towards the tree, and put one foot in like the little planter and dirt around the tree, mm -hmm. but didn't doesn't seem to have put the other one down in the mud. No, that's weird. <laughs> do the lighter thing. Do the lighter thing. <laughs> Okay, I do the lighting thing. <laughs> this, one, this, this tree seems to have an empty space as well. Yeah. 
This tree also looks like it has a hollow space at the side of it. I wonder if they're all connected or if they're all different. I wonder if she went inside or if she just like went up to see if the door would open. Like, there's so much it could be. Um. Okay. We have we touched any of these trees? Like physically put our hands on them? I don't think so, right? Like, cause we found the we found the USB driver on the ground. I poked found... the I poked the first one with a stick, was... though, right? No, with my hand. The second yeah. one, I saw ah. the door was open, so I poked that one with a stick. Got it. Got it. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what would trigger the door to open based on what we've seen. <laughs> Maybe you got to run at it full speed. You're welcome to try that. Casey just kind of looks at you like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's uh, put my, my back up a couple of steps. <laughs> <laughs> And, and then I just fucking blaze at it full speed and then like at the last second I'll like climb the truck and do a backflip if I have to in order to like <laughs> stop myself from running into the tree <laughs> I'll do the run up the truck <laughs> okay that didn't work <laughs> but it looked cool <laughs> yeah it looked cool let's uh, see how good it is do you have athletics i do have athletics yes so roll a d6 just one d6 and add your athletics rating to it here we go oh nice I got yeah. a five on the roll, and my athletics rating is a four, so that's a nine. Nice. Yeah, you nail it. <laughs> okay, that dude actually looked pretty cool. With the tree or anything. <laughs> <laughs> nothing happens with the tree. Okay, well, it's it's apparently not a speed based thing that triggers it, so it's not motion sensors. Hmm. None of her paintings have any like words or any letters or anything like that on it either. No, okay. Nope. And we didn't check the backs of the paintings either. Oh, God. So, dang. Dang it. I know. You always think you're going to be better at this kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then you start trying to do it. And you're like, you're right. I didn't maximize my time with that last clue. Oh. <laughs> All right. You head off to the game to mm -hmm. get ready to, con uh, to confront the coach. We are going to head to 10-15 minute break. Nice. We will be back in a little bit. Enjoy the music. to stone I'm looking in woods hiding from the storm So turn the fear to laughter The light will shine somehow
wasted our breath turning dreams to stone to stone to store
to store. to store
to stone Jump us back in. Hello. Welcome back to Nerds with Dice. Yeah. <clears throat> Before we get started, and I forgot to do this earlier, Nerds with Dice has a Discord server. You can follow the link in the chat, and I'll take you over there. You can join that up. And while we're playing... Uh, Sarah Dawson's 10,000 Worlds, occasionally we're going to be switching systems. Right now we are playing in Bubblegum Shoe. If you 
head over to drive through RPG you can pick up bubblegum shoe over there as well as I decided we're gonna throw some support to some charities while um, with each game we play and alongside bubblegum shoe we are asking that you join us in supporting First Nations Development Institute. They do some great things, economic development, they have youth programs, and you can check them out for more information at the link that's also in the chat. Our sleuths, we're about to head off to investigate to to go to a football game so that they could head off the football coach as they continue to investigate what happened to their missing friend Sarah Dawson. You get there. Uh, the football game's still going. Uh, the alchemists are currently in the lead, uh, but it's like third quarter. The lines at the concession stand are thinning out. Oh, Casey is in so much trouble. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's been like you're here the whole time. <laughs> I've got uh, I got everything laid out here. All right, so I'm uh. If, if we're going to go with plan, <laughs> we're going to go with my elaborate disguise plan. <laughs> <laughs> or if we're just going to try and talk to them normally, I'm ready to go with either one. <laughs> so I think for the coach, it was talk to them normally, talk to him normally after the game. Right. And for uh, the quarterback, it was elaborate disguise at the party. Elaborate disguise at the party. Let's yeah. do it. Okay. All right. So do we win? <laughs> wow, three and out. Yeah. <laughs> Alchemist win by a ten point lead. Oof. Respectable. Yeah, they're not playing around. And Oh, thank you for putting that link in the chat. No worries. And uh Yeah, everybody uh, like on the you know, team shake hands. The players head off to the locker rooms. Um, the coaches and and staff are are like putting away equipment, you know, the new water jugs and extra water bottles, all that stuff. It's getting cleaned up. Fans are trickling off. All right. What do you think, Casey? How do you want to do this? Did Coach go down to the locker room with the team? Nope, he's lingering up on the, the hill right now. Let's volunteer to help out. Okay. Get close to him. Oh, wow. We'll walk up and uh, offer to throw in some hands. <laughs> some helps. Helping hands. And... <laughs> yeah, they're, they're uh, more than happy to accept some, you know, help with cleaning up. They uh, give you, you know, give you some equipment that's like the the end zone pylons and stuff that need to be put away. But if you want to talk to the coach, now nah, this is this is your chance. We do. As I'm walking by, awkwardly carrying one of the giant like pylon pads or something, I'm like, "Good game, coach." Uh, thank you, thank you. Millen's really on a roll, huh? Uh, yeah, he's a great kid, best quarterback this town's ever had. And to think that like he's playing so well in spite of everything, you know? Uh, what do you mean, in spite of everything? Well, like with Cynthia and stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, you move on from those things, you know. He had a tough time last year. It definitely affected his season a little bit last year, but 
It's he's, he's getting over it. Tragic accident, though, you know? Yeah. I heard that there was drinking at the party she was at. Casey is lying badly. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, I didn't hear that. Didn't, I thought it was just an accident that no, no alcohol or anything was involved. I don't know. I mean, you know how us high schoolers are. We talk about stuff. I heard another rumor. Um, yeah, I imagine, you know, you're a high schooler. Kids spread rumors. Sure. It's yeah. one you might be interested in, though. But maybe we shouldn't talk about it here. I'm, I'm sorry. What exactly are you talking about? It's a rumor about one of your players who is suddenly doing really well. Mm. And the reason why he might be doing well... Okay. Um, give me like 20 minutes. Meet me in my office. Okay. Sorry, coach. It was a good game. Bye. Runs. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, back to Jared and info dump. <laughs> yeah. All right. So how did he, did he act like scared? How did he act like scared or he like was shocked? When you like at first, like when you started talking about gossip, he was annoyed. But then you, mm -hmm. when you mentioned like how one of your players is suddenly improved, he was he was shocked. Mm -hmm. But not so much afraid. Okay. I tell you all of that. All right. So I guess um, you're gonna go and grab him in twenty minutes. Or well, I mean, I come with you. Yes, please, please do. Okay. Yes, all right. please. All right. Here we go. Uh, He's got a way of just like staring at you. Got you. All right. All right. All right, let's let's decide right now before we walk in here how much we want to tell them about. What we're going to tell them about what we know. Um, we're going to hint that we found some evidence about what he about the what well, we found some evidence about about them doing about them doing drugs, and we're gonna demand money so he doesn't <laughs> think we're investigating. You're right. And, and he's like gonna... a grown-up. He'll have tons of money. <laughs> and he'll you know, a grown-up. He should have at least a couple thousand on him, right? Like, Maybe um, not on him, but like available, sure. True, true, true. But the, and the second part we're gonna have to find is to find out if he knows what happened to Sarah. Sarah. Uh, and did he, did Sarah find this out before us and bring it to him and so what happened to her. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think we should play this kind of hard. Mm -hmm. Like, just because, like, we're dealing with serious stuff here. If we I don't do come in here showing this guy that we're going to be tough, he's going to... Murder us. Right. Mm -hmm. Feed us the trees. The tree hollows. Ugh. I don't want to get eaten by a tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm scoping every tree out now and giving it at least <laughs> a five extra foot berth than I normally mm -hmm. would. Just to make sure, like, I'm going to have an extra second. <laughs> Casey kind of has the opposite reaction, which is to, like, surreptitiously poke <laughs> all of the trees. <laughs> Jared is going to start flinching from that, like, <laughs> when the rest of the party shows up and Jared is flinching around trees, people are going to be like, what's going on? <laughs> Like no, no just, so just watch out, man. Certain trees, just watch out. <laughs> <sighs> okay, all right. 
get our psych faces on. Mm-hmm. Let's get our serious grown-up face on. Here we go. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go. We're gonna go in here. And we're gonna talk to this man about dr- about doping. <laughs> yeah. And the, seri- and the disappearance of a young girl. So we're ready for this. All right. Yeah. By the way, as soon as you walk into his office, he. He like he shuts the the door and he just what what did Dawson tell you? Oh bingo, here we go. Now that's that's a big tale. Can I say that Casey surreptitiously like turned on called his voicemail so that it would yeah, start like recording would start like a voice memo or something yeah easy enough yeah well as you may or may not be aware um uh, miss dawson has been missing for two weeks so we want her here to, we want to know what you did with her I'm just gonna straight up, I'm just straight up ass. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, did you did you ta- did you hurt Miss Dawson when she came with this information? Like everybody else, I haven't seen her for two weeks. Yeah, but at the beginning of that two weeks is the time we're asking about. I seen her. I seen her around school, and I seen her. Three weeks ago, we met at Johnny's so she could get what she wanted. I think keeping her little video. Okay. All right. So good. I'm glad that we can be on the level with each other here now. Now, listen, I, don't, I can't speak for my friend Casey here, but for me, I don't give a crap about what you guys are doing to, to get the hoorah rahs out in the stands every week. But we gotta find Sarah, all right. And I think that, we, and we gotta admit that it's pretty, pretty strange that you and uh, and if the if the new star quarterback keeps showing up at things that we are tying to Sarah's last couple of days. And I just want you to go ahead and tell us exactly everything you know right now. So we can go ahead and clear as a suspect and move on, because otherwise, we're gonna have to bring this evidence to authorities and let them make their own choices from there. I'm trying to intimidate him into being like, "It's not. This is possible." Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Hold nothing yeah. back. <laughs> <laughs> I want. I want to know what color underwear you were wearing that day. <laughs> <laughs> the last time you saw Sarah. And I, where are those at? Have you washed them yet? We need to take those in and get forensics on. Huh? <laughs> what interpersonal skills do you have? Okay. Uh, interpersonal skills. I have BS detector, grown up face, impersonate, intimidation, and taunt. Okay. That's right. Let me. Check I built my interpersonal to be like a provocateur. I'm here to get a reaction out of you. Because <laughs> uh, they're actually here. Might be. That doesn't apply here. I just wanted to double check on the throwdown rules. Got it. <laughs> oh boy. All right. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, that That's applies, okay. Don't apply more to Millen than than the coach. It's more of a peer thing. If I understood it correctly, anyways. Got so. It. Uh, oh. If you want to spend like a point, 
Actually, what's your grown up face? My grown up face is two. Two? Let me see. Yeah. Coach. Oh, that's. Can I out grown up face the grown up? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, look. Here's what I'll tell you. Uh huh. She had this time. She had me use the money that she wanted to buy a dirt bike. I don't know what she was using it for, but she apparently had use for a dirt bike. But so she had me meet her out at Johnny's. That little sports utility store in uh, out, out off uh, County K there, just outside of town. That's all I know. I know nothing about her disappearance. The fact that you're even implicating me in that. Is going too far. Now, do you have that video on you? It's I'll somewhere you, safe. I'll give you $1,500 right now if you give me that video. I'm going to give Casey a look. <laughs> Casey's looking a little tempted by $1,500. That's a lot of money to a 15 year old. <laughs> <laughs> two, two teenagers. <laughs> do I'm like? Do we actually not care about this, or should we keep it as evidence? Is the thing is the thing that I'm I'm trying to decide. Casey has an idea. I'll let Casey rock. Mm -hmm. We don't have it with us, but we can give it to you Monday morning at school. Okay, and we, and we want fifteen hundred each. And we want fifteen hundred each. Fine, as long as you give me the video and no making copies. Of course not. I don't even know how to m turn my VCR to, to the right time, dude. I mean, yes, I'm still using the VCR as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, whatever. Just get out of my office. We leave. I leave. I'm sorry. <laughs> We are totally making copies of that video. Of course. Of course. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go home right now. I'm going to make a, a fake GitHub account and then I'm going to put it on the internet. <laughs> after we get the money, though. After we get, after the, money. We get the money. After we get the money, we can upload it. Oh, boy. All right. Let's, let's yeah. go. And, and let me tell you something, Drake. Out of character. The fact that we just had the Super Bowl, I keep wanting to call this quarterback my homeboy. That's the <laughs> nickname they use on ESPN for the current quarterback, <laughs> Super Bowl champion quarterback. So I was like, I can't. I keep wanting to call. Let's go talk to my homeboys. What I was about to say, <laughs> but I know that that's not his name. McMillan. Let's go talk to McMillan. Cool, Hubert Hubert Millen. <laughs> yeah, I am gonna do the full like. I'm gonna. All right. Do we want to play it? Do we? Do, 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 I need the full sign off now. Should we play this one hard as well? Should I go in with the full suit and pretend like I'm the FBI on this guy and try and like really shake him? Uh, yes, but if we do, Casey should arrive separately because that might that. give it away. All right, so here's what we're here's what we're going to do. I'm going to drop you off at the party early and then wait outside. And then I'm going to grab him towards the end of the party for the shakedown. Actually, no, I actually don't like that idea. I think we're going to we just come in separately and then, like, I approach him separately is the way to play it. Okay. All right. All right, so uh, I guess our next stop, unless there's uh, something else, is going to be to drive over to this party. Yeah, we head to the party. What what? Hmm. I put my hands in the air, air, <laughs> air. Yeah, it's just uh 
house party. Mm -hmm. yeah. An underage high school house party, so everyone's like in the basement. <laughs> Playing spin the bottle. Mm -hmm. Would you rather? I mean, of course, it's it's also like a TV house party because you know. Okay. That kids okay. on TV always get away with. Freaking murder. And house parties <laughs> and stuff. The, the house is, is gonna be completely wrecked, but it'll be fine. <laughs> the fun thing is, it is the country, so the police probably not gonna show up. Like you can, like this house is far enough out of town that nobody's gonna likely be calling the police or anything for loud music. But when you pull up, the music's already going. There's already mm -hmm. one actually. What's his name? Um, Richard. Richard Ricard. The bully. Mm. He's already passed out in the front lawn. Damn it. I, I point that out to Casey. I'm like, fuck, all right, we got a problem. Yeah, he, he's currently, he's just passed out in the front yard, but you will probably wake up at some point. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. We got to do this before... before Dick Rick over there wakes up. So uh, let's uh, let's, let's head on in. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you go first or do I go first? I'm gonna go first, and that way, and I'll like, tell you to give me like ten minutes, and you can just roll in right after that. Okay. Cool. All right. I walk in. I look very. I look very stodgy. I, I'm trying to look as like. <laughs> as official as possible. I'm standing as tall, as straight and as tall. I'm not looking at anybody who's making out or like, you know, like walking, looking at all the alcohol. I'm just trying to find the quarterback, McMillan. Okay. If I see him, I walk over to him directly with purpose. I straighten my tie. I unbutton the last butt and button my suit coat right as I walk up to him. I'm sorry. Are you uh? What is for? Are you Hubert? Are you Hubert McMillan? Who's asking? I do the quick. I do the quick wallet flip. Flap flap. <laughs> Please tell me the only thing in there is like a ten punch card for Subway. <laughs> it's like a military ID from when my last like my, my family's last place. Like, <clears throat> yeah, I'm uh, amazing. I'm a, I'm Agent, uh, I'm, I'm Agent Evans from the local bureau. We're here to discuss a few things with you regarding, uh, well, mostly regarding the disappearance of Miss Dawson, but also regarding a recent scandal we might, we've heard of regarding, uh, drugs falling into the hands of young minors, uh, we need to get some words with you. I'm sorry to gather you at this moment, but if we could just have five minutes with your time over here, and I try and guide him off to the side where I can be quiet one-on-one with, -on -one with him. He'll go with you, but he's a little suspicious. What beer exactly? Yes, uh, the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Uh, we are nice. here because... Uh, of course, of course, of course, there's some things here that I could talk to you about right away, but we've been called in to help with the search for Sarah Dawson because they want to make sure that we're getting as much federal manpower on as we can. You know how it goes. Um, so listen, I just got to do some routine questions for you here. Uh, when was the last time you saw Miss Dawson again? So as you're saying all this, he looks around at all of these kids drinking <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like, cause, and I'm and I'm playing into that. So I was like, I got some things to talk to you about already, cause you're busted. <laughs> but like, I'm gonna let you slide, and I need you to talk to me about this Dawson stuff on the low. Also, you know, I'm a fellow, I'm a fellow of Lum, class of '88. And uh, I definitely want to make sure that, you know, we don't have anything to jeopardize our season. And uh, 
I know what uh, I know what coach puts in the go shakes, if you know what I mean. So no, I, best I, I don't know what you mean. And as for Dawson, I like most of the kids at school, I've seen her uh, that Friday before she she went missing. That Friday before she went missing. So you're saying you haven't seen her in this two weeks time? No. I'm, was I supposed to? Have? Well, uh, let me ask you this. Uh, and then the only reason I bring it up is because you know you've had some other tragedies in your past recently. What with your girlfriend last year? Uh, what was her name again? And this time I'm going to try and look him in his eye and see what like his gauge his reaction. How does he still feel? about this person is he like is he really like whatever about it is he is he like having a normal reaction to it um his, his eyes darken a little bit and he just uh, and I'm, I think flipping through some notes and like Cynthia I think yeah, was her name Cynthia uh, yeah that was her name look I don't know if nobody knows this and put it in the paper or anything, but I already told the police. Please, we broke up the week before, and I hadn't talked to her at all. So I don't know what this has, what her tragic accident has to do with Dawson or any of this other stuff. But I haven't seen Dawson. And yeah, yeah. The tragedy with Cincinnati has nothing to do with that, as far as I'm concerned. So you haven't seen Dawson since the Friday before. Uh, where would you, where'd you see her at that day? I, I think it was the cafeteria. Cafeteria. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I don't have any classes with her or anything. At this point, you, you have BS detective, right? I do. Yeah, at this point, you know. He's lying about something. Yeah. Yeah, I can smell it on him. Uh, let me see. Okay. <clears throat> Lunch, huh? Yeah, I must have been some good tater tots that day. Uh, let me tell you something, McMillan. And I get real close to him this time, right? And I and I and I give him the full of my six feet in height <laughs> as I press into him. And I'm like, listen, buddy, I think I know you I know your type. High school quarterback thinks you're tough. Let me tell you something. We'll, we'll take you downtown. We'll put you in the cell. Let's just do it on that for a little while. When I find out, then you can lie to me. Okay, I've got 20 years on the force. <laughs> it's like obviously 18 year old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is an episode of Veronica Mars. <laughs> Okay, look, nobody believed me or anything. I try, like, I did try to say something. But, oh. Like, <laughs> oh, no. I'm sorry, I can't. He just said the thing, and I'm like, no. I saw Sarah Wednesday before school. Mm -hmm. She was in the woods. Like, she was, or she was on the side of the roads, and I, I watched her walk in the side of the, in, in, like, into the woods. That like they so they already searched that area and they didn't see anybody, but she's there. Like she's seen my car coming, and she took off into the woods. Like she didn't want to be helped. I even stopped my car. Did she seem hurt or in distress? Was she running from someone? She was running from me. Why was she running from you? Were you trying to help her? Yeah, I was trying, like, I stopped, I seen her, I tried to, I stopped to try to help her, because I figured, if she's been missing, she's in trouble. So this has been since the, the two weeks, so this is like Wednesday of last week, or this week? Like, this week. Wow, okay, that's really big. Um, Alright, let me make sure I'm making note of that. Look, like he said, the sheriff said she wasn't out there, and he told that there was nothing. She wasn't there, and I shouldn't talk about it. 
the sheriff told you not to talk about it. Yeah, he said he didn't want people panicking or something. All right. Well, listen. I want to thank you for actually opening up and being honest with me. And remember, don't lie to law enforcement, son. That's that's how we're here to protect and serve you, and that's all we're here to do. Okay. Now I'm gonna get out of here before I have to write you guys up for a 10:37 for all this. I see you around here. Make sure you clean this up. Make sure everyone who gets out who leaves here is has a designated driver is taking a cab. Cab? We don't have cabs here. <laughs> well, you better get some tractors and a fucking flatbed because we got to get some of these people home and they better not. And I better not catch any of them. <laughs> if I pull over any DUIs coming out of this place, it's going to be all over. I'll shut this whole thing down. Now, I got to go write this up. Good night. <laughs> About this time, Casey walks in the front door. <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh -huh. Face to face with the intimidating looking officer dude and just turns right back around. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> uh, so, Casey, when you walk in, mm -hmm. you see this girl in like a hoodie. She sort of like circles under her eyes and she looks worn down. She's like sitting in the corner of the room where like some of the kids are dancing and stuff. She doesn't have a beer or anything, but she's just like glaring at Hubert Millen. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go over and talk to that. So I'll grab if there is since this is a Hollywood house party, I'll grab two beers out of presumably the many that are about everywhere um, <laughs> and go over and offer her one and be like laser vision works a lot better when the lasers are lubed up yeah I don't want that well it seems like you're glaring lasers at Mill in there that's cause he's an asshole well yeah why do you think he's an asshole cause I think he killed Cynthia Well, shit, says Casey, and takes a drink of his beer. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why do you, why do you, I mean. See, please all nonchalant. He says, well, we broke up a week before and I took it really well. Bullshit, he was texting her every 15 minutes trying to convince her to give him another chance. Yeah? And yeah. he killed her because she broke up with him? Like, look at, like, I know him, but he sees, like, the nice guy in school, and he plays it up, but, like, uh, and I don't, like, you know, I know he does, like, a little minor bullying, and he seems like a good guy, but, like, he has a, a temper. He doesn't exactly, he's not exactly used to being told no, not in this town. He yeah, doesn't I get exactly that. take it well when people tell him no. But, like, I thought it was an accident. That's what they said. But I don't believe it. Sarah didn't believe it either. Now she's missing, too. Yeah, that's really freaky, huh? Look, all I'm saying is... My dad owns the Bat Rat Diner. And that's the kid who threw a chair through the front window because we were full up and didn't have a place to seat him. And nobody talked about it because the sheriff covered it up because you don't want to ruin the star quarterback season. You really think they would have let him go down for murder if they even had evidence? You can kind of see the gears turning in Casey's head where he, like, wants to argue just for the sake of wanting to argue, but also wants to pump this girl for more information. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, 
That's messed up. Yeah. Who's texting her? Like, after she broke up with him? That's just like... Yeah, I've seen all the texts. Where? That was back... Like, that was... I, she Cynthia showed me them before her accident. Like, they were on her phone. Phone that apparently wasn't in the accident. The phone wasn't in the accident. Yeah, apparently. Who the fuck goes driving without their phone? Like, I'm 15 and I know that. <laughs> apparently the police didn't think it was weird either. But, weird, but... but Cynthia wouldn't have left her phone behind. So, like, her mom still has her phone? No. She didn't... Cynthia's mom didn't turn it over. I thought it was in so her room, but... I tried calling it. I never found it. So wait, who has Cynthia's phone? Is there like, oh my gosh, is there like some weirdo out there just hoarding Cynthia's phone and like? <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh my like, God, I bet a pervert has it. <laughs> you say that, man. Her eyes like. Get really being so I I hope not yeah actually I hope not too that's just really gross that's troubling on a lot of levels hey you want to get out of here um uh, sure I guess the party's lame yeah sitting here glaring at Millen yeah <laughs> That's what you're doing. Come on. And I take her out front. <laughs> to hopefully where Jared is waiting. Yes, uh, I am at the car. I've switched out of the business suit and some more casual attire <laughs> to complete my transformation Clark Kent style. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking at the map that we have with our pins, or I'm assuming we probably have like just marker dots on the spots that we use on the travel map. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and I'm going to where McMillan told us that he saw uh, Sarah running into the woods. I'm tracking to see how, where that is in relation to the trees that we know about. Um, and uh, just generally trying to get an idea of what area that was at, what was near it. Would I have known the girl's name, by the way? Oh, um... Yes. Her name is Sydney Bennett. Okay. Uh, and you didn't think they were close. Okay. What's like Sydney's click? Um, it'd be like sports teams. Like she's like a jockey type. Mm. Um, I'm going to drag her over to Jared and be like, hey, Jared, Sydney. Hey. Hey, I'm Sydney. Jared Evans. No, oh, hey. Sydney uh, also thinks a bunch of weird shit went down with, you know, Cynthia. Yeah, it, uh, that was, that was a hard one to read. My vibe on that was that he actually kind of cared for her so i'm not certain if there was something afoot there and he did drop that knowledge about saying he had broken up with her a week before yeah, yeah. but like I, I know. go ahead ziggy yeah i know i know they broke, they broke up but apparently he was like texting her all the time and it was super obnoxious and like begging her to come back and everything Right? Yeah. Full stalker. Oh boy. Okay. Hmm. Well, what I got out of him was he says that he saw Sarah running off into the woods off on this road. And I point to the map where it is. And uh, just saw her sprint off into the woods and he called out to her. And, and he, this was apparently Wednesday of, of the. Mo so that's the most recent sighting of Sarah. Wait, this Wednesday? 
Yes, that's what he told me. How does Sydney react to that bombshell? Uh, Sydney is shocked. Is it, what the hell? Yeah, that's the that's the freshest piece. That's the freshest trail we've got. That's a good piece of information. Uh, apparently, and there's more to it. Apparently, it uh, not only did he not only did he try to help her. Uh, or he says, uh, and she ran away from him like she didn't recognize him. Or, uh, but she also says he told the sheriff, and the sheriff told him not to tell it to anybody else because he doesn't want to create a panic. And Sydney, you were telling me about this time that, like, so Hubert like threw a chair through the dining diner cover because they wouldn't give him a seat. Yeah, the... and like, the, yeah. And you said the sheriff covered that up too, right? Yeah, he, he, he swept it under the rug. He, like they, they made him, you know, made his parents pay for the window and stuff, but that was it. There was no, like, legal action or official anything. Sydney, can you keep a secret? Sure. We're investigating all of this, and we think it's connected. Just, Is there anything else you can tell us? I, I don't know anything. Look, Sarah said she was looking into stuff this as well. She thought things were weird, just so, like, be careful. Did she mention anything about the trees? The trees? Yeah, don't, don't, don't look at me like I'm crazy, but... There are trees around here that have spaces inside them oh, that are not a part of um, our normal kind of area. <laughs> well, as I give the most B-movie explanation of this, I can. <laughs> <laughs> just, just designed to freak you out until late. <laughs> like, um, no. I mean... Like, see, see, Sarah went on about a lot of stuff that I didn't always understand. And, and like, in the last month or so, she kept talking to me about all this stuff, all these weird connections she thought were led to the Cynthia's crash and all stuff. I didn't understand a lot of it. Okay, well, just, you know, thank you. We're just... Definitely trying to put together any kind of anything that can help us with that. Uh, I don't know about Cynthia and uh, the quarterback, but <clears throat> I, I, I can't say anything. I can't say it's not possible. I didn't think that they'd be they'd be involved in some kind of doping scheme as well here. Like, wait, doping? Uh, yeah, we can you keep another secret? Or if you don't want to know, I should have given you the option to to ban to get out first. But uh, we we got, we've got evidence that at least two people are involved in doping: uh, the head coach and and the QB. That actually that doesn't surprise me. Actually, it's actually yeah. funny. That's why we're three and zero apparently. Yeah. And apparently Sarah found out about that as well and was <laughs> give okay dirt bike why would Sarah be last seen by the coach giving a dirt bike from him and then let, earlier this week which was two weeks ago and then well, I guess we'd say 10 days later if it was a Wednesday um, found she has no dirt bike and she's running through the woods. I'm assuming on foot, looking as if she would need assistance. If we heard to believe the quarterback, <laughs> something about that doesn't add up either. Where would she need the dirt bike to go? She doesn't seem like the dirt biking type. Yeah, um, as as I know she wasn't, but I mean, there's definitely places that if you were willing to break a few trail laws and stuff that would definitely be able to 
be easier to get to if you had something like that. Yeah, like where? To we got a map back, here. To some of the back country here. I mean, cut through from fields. Depending on where you're trying to get, I don't know where she'd be going, but definitely be easier to do on a dirt bike than walking it. That's likely true. Um, but we still need to find out where, where she would want to go with a dirt bike. Okay, so. Interesting. Curiouser and curiouser. As my favorite detective used to say. <laughs> um, having trouble ruling out the improbable here, since uh, <laughs> one of the things that I have to be, a, that we have to continue with are Bay Rats, <laughs> an urban legend, and a door, in, a doors that swing through trees. Um... Uh, so, you know, my, my good old-fashioned Sherlock Holmes is going to, like, uh, <laughs> let me down here as well. i got to go with my full Encyclopedia Brown. And uh, I feel like we we got to talk, we got to go out to this uh, to this highway next. And I know this it's late at night. <laughs> and uh, because we're having a, it's a Friday, it's a Friday night. It's after the, the party. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. an after party, party. And we're three teenagers saying we're going to go investigate something spooky in the woods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and like as guy with a hockey mask shows up. Uh, <laughs> you can actually realize, like it didn't occur to you at first, but if you you notice that if you take the highway, mm -hmm. if you were to cut through the woods, it's actually only like a mile, mile and a half to where the first tree you investigated is. If you take the highway from where we saw... Like, like where Sarah Dawson was seen, mm -hmm. if you cut off the trail through the woods, mm -hmm. it's only like a mile. So it's a mile as the crow flies. Okay. And, and she was good at hiking, so she wouldn't be able to do that pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Hence why it looked like she just took off, I guess, to him. <laughs> like... Um, okay. Well, you want to go back to that first tree then and take a look? We didn't, uh, we didn't finish up everything, every part of the investigation of that. And that seems like a, a place that she's coming back to. Yeah, let's, let's check it out. All right. You want to come, Sydney? Asked super awkwardly. You got a flashlight <laughs> with your name on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> now we're a mystery group. <laughs> <laughs> and her flash. I had the flashlight. Okay. Yeah, you had her flashlight. Casey is totally using the flash on his phone. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> So, that's, the, that's not enough lumens. <laughs> do you go back to the trailhead and take the, the trail, or do you cut through the woods? I think I think we should cut through the woods. I got to be honest with you here. Like I know I know how bad that sounds, <laughs> but I Casey feel like has, we... Casey has zero outdoors. But if Jared thinks he can do it, then yeah, I'll let you go for it. Just, I say go for it. Just the. I am gonna make a. I'm gonna make a rope uh, connector for the three of us, just so we don't get lost. It's just like you know, just to be safe, just to make sure, because it's, it's nighttime. We're going through the woods. Like one of those little field trip ropes that mm -hmm. all of the kids in preschool have to hold on to when they exactly. Go. <laughs> like when I pull, you guys come on, so you know we can stay close together. Cool. All right, and then I'll lead us down the ravine into the woods here and. Uh, Trying to angle back towards the the tree. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need both of you mm -hmm. to oh boy. roll me a one d six plus your outdoor rating. 
Oh no. <laughs> All right, okay, got it. We can do this. All right, where's Avery? Okay. 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 One d six plus my outdoor rating makes a total of five. Same here. Okay. Yeah, you make it. It's not easy, but. You don't lose anybody because you have you have the rope, <laughs> which helps. Rope connector, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, yep, that, that saves you. Just enough, like you you you, know, you trip and you stumble because it's not easy to walk through. Like without an actual tram, it's not easy to mm -hmm. walk through all the sticks, and all the dead fall and whatnot. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right, we finally make our way to the edge of the woods then. I was like, all right, guys, good job, good job, good job. Casey has, like, got sticks and leaf litter all over him from where he fell down, and he is cussing up a storm <laughs> as he comes out of the woods. I mean, yeah, man, I'm sorry about that. Those vans are not, we're not designed for this. <laughs> These were, oh, and it's like they had been the nice black and white checkered vans, and now they're just brown. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just, just think, man. On Monday, we'll have $1,500 each that we can um, back to get your new vans with. Yeah, the Galaxy check ones. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get some of those PAX East Pac Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, when you when you get to the clearing, it, Sydney like shines her light around, and then she like unclips herself from the from the rope, and goes over because she thinks she's seen something in like the leaves, and she's like looking around, pushing leaves aside. Uh, let's see, who has the highest notice? <laughs> oh Lord. I have a, a, I think I have a zero notice. Let me check that again to make sure. Yeah, I have a zero. I have a rating of one, but I spent the point already. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, you'll, uh, Casey, you'll notice. You notice it looks like there's somebody watching you from down the trail. Can I tell more about who's watching us? It That's just looks like somebody's watching you from down the trail. They don't have a flashlight. They don't appear to be wearing any kind of like reflective gear or anything. Just oh, that's real fucked up. Stay here, fam. I'll be right back. Are you gonna go talk? Yeah, I'm gonna go see what that pervert's doing. What, Casey, man, come on, like he could have a he could have a knife. Oh, he could be anything. You're already, already there. You're already there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Casey, you you walk over, and as you get closer, and as as like as you get closer, and you have like your, your flashlight, because you're using your phone light. So mm -hmm. as, as the details get more evident, this guy is wearing a trench coat. He has like a big wide brim hat pulled down so the shadows cover his face so you can't see his face and he's just standing there hey trench coat dude are you gonna flash us or something he doesn't say anything oh boy why are you being such a creeper how close do you get um probably within about 10 feet before I start just like saying kind of mean things to him <laughs> Do you, do you get closer than that, or do you stop at 10 feet? Stop at 10 feet, say the mean things. If there's no reply, then Casey will go ahead and get closer to see if he can shine his flashlight in this dude's face. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> reply to anything you say. He just stands there. Doesn't do you even, anything. like, have a mouth under there? 
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like when you go, like when you make the movement to like try to shine the light, he reaches out to grab your your wrist. Uh, Casey shrieks a surprisingly high pitched squeak, shriek for her boy. Oh lord! <laughs> <laughs> and pulls his hand back and is like, "What the hell, dude?" He grabs for you again. Um, I think at this point Casey is very close to panic and is just going to like with his soft not at all likely to hurt somebody Vans try and kick him in the shin <laughs> okay so that <laughs> is combat so let me double check oh lord we're fighting Kung Lao <laughs> Conflict fighting. What's your athletics rating? Athletics rating is a six. Okay. Roll a d6 plus that. Plus six. Cool. Oh, 12. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you hit him. <laughs> Do I crush it? Oh, yeah, actually, you do. <laughs> yes! almost forgot about that. What happens when you crush it again? What I don't it? remember, but I remember it's like a crit success. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was your unmodified a six? Yes. Okay, yeah, so then you crush it. And your total result... Was it 12? Exceeds it by 5. Okay, yep, yeah, that's what happens. There's crushing it rules. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't... I'm sorry. What? <laughs> It says you crush it when you do that, but I don't see what it's supposed what to What happens do. when you crush it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just have the fat satisfaction of knowing you absolutely crushed it. Yeah, I mean... I mean, if I get narrative control, I'm going to try and knock this guy to the ground and knock his hat off. It's, oh boy. It's not, like, it's not so much like you... He's... You kick him, like, it's pretty solid, but he does, like... He almost goes down to one knee, but he doesn't, like... You kicked him as hard as you could. With a pair of Vans, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it still hurts to kick somebody. If you, mm -hmm. if if you know what you're doing and you're good. And he, he, like, goes down to almost all the way down to one knee. Then he stands Ow. back up. And... Uh-oh. Now he's not just reaching for you. He's taking steps to close the space between you. Um... I uh, I am torn between Ulfric reaction and Casey reaction, and Casey reaction is very badly rugby tackle this guy, <laughs> I think. <laughs> Ulfric reaction is run away, run away, run away, run away. <laughs> run away? Discretion? <laughs> um, for Jared? At this moment, Sydney screams. Oh boy! <laughs> from where she was. Okay, so I'm, and I'm still attached to her because I haven't untied this rope yet. So, first move: untie rope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Second move: move close distance to where Casey and the man in the black hat are. <laughs> Apparently having a grabbing contest. Let's be honest. This is what's going on over there right now. Hey, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna come in and, I, and I'm just gonna hit him with a with the the full on Bruce Lee jump kick. Like it's it's just like I, I'm just letting him know right now that I want the ruckus. <laughs> if you, if trying to bring the ruckus, I'm bringing the ruckus back. I'm hoping to take him off his feet, <laughs> and then we can run. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's uh, should I roll my d6 here? Yeah, roll your d6 with your athletics. 
Noise. Okay, so my D6 plus my athletics is an 8. Okay. Total. Yeah, you you do it. You managed and start knocking him off his feet. <laughs> do, do you grab Casey and run? Um, I don't feel like we could... It's three on one here. So I'm trying to think of what Jer- what Jared would do versus what Jay would do. Jay's probably <laughs> Jay would definitely grab KC and run in this situation. But I think Jared would assume that we have a numbers advantage. We want to know what this person has information this person has. So I'm going to try to um, get back up and uh, get ready to. Once he's still on the ground, I want to try and stand on him. Hopefully hold him down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was going to say sit on him, so yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So basically it's going to a wrestling match now. It's like, all right, now let's check out his groundwork. <laughs> Is he going to out-wrestle me? <laughs> and your athletic score was... My athletics is four. I'll throw a four in fighting. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I have a much lower score in fighting. Mm. So. Yeah, so he stands up. Little to no effort. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. We just kept up. Just continuously. Yeah, just up. Like you like stumble off him. I guess I, I guess I'm gonna get into a fighting position then, because this, if we're gonna like, if I'm gonna subdue this guy, then I'm gonna have to actually fight him now. <laughs> like, and he's been and he's creepy. He attacked first, so I'm okay with like actually using violence on this person. Um, I've just looked at what time there is left. I think Casey is going to decide to see this and be like, "Bad idea. He's really strong. Running." <laughs> <laughs> And just like grab his hand and start running down the trail. Okay, his phone is gone at this point. Nah, that's okay. fine. I, if if Casey's ready to leave, then I, I will I will retreat with the team. Retreat with the team. And he's shouting behind him, Sydney. I grab Sydney, Sydney on the way by. Hopefully, <laughs> you, can, you can grab Sydney on the way by. Are you going for the car? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, wait a second. We. Took the we woods came across the countryside. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't, is it fast enough to run for the car? Uh, we have to cut back through the woods. And without the tie, we might get lost. So I think we're going to head down the trail and hopefully get back to the road, main road that way. Okay. Yeah, and then, like, that. take the main road back to the car from there. You can do that. I'm All still right. needing outdoors for you because you are running in the dark. You got it. Yep. Yep. Should I roll for that, too? Yep. Here we go. Sorry, what was the roll? Uh, outdoors. So, D6 plus your outdoors. I got a five total. Three. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. yep. So. Casey is an indoor kid. You're running. Yep. And. Well, you all grabbed each other and took off running. As you run down this trail, at some point, it gets really hard to hold on to people's hand and run. <laughs> and so, Jed, you and Sidney burst out onto the, like a, a trailhead, rode in front of you, and that's when you realize, at some point, Casey Snow isn't with you anymore. Oh, no. Casey. You accidentally, instead of angling the the trail fork, <laughs> and you accidentally went the wrong way on the fork. Okay. And that's when you notice that, oh, kind no. of creepily, he's like 
almost walking behind you. He's is he doing the Terminator you. thing? Yeah, he's just walking, but he's way behind you because you're doing oh, Michael Myers shuffle. Yeah, and that's when you notice the tree open up. The light shines through, and there stands Sarah, and she's waving frantically at you, like come to her. I dive through the tree. Yeah, go through the tree, <laughs> and that's where we end. Oh! Yes! <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> wow! <laughs> What an ending to that session. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I... Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm playing out Jared's like moment of when he realizes he left Casey in the woods. He's going to be like, <laughs> no! <laughs> He's going to Casey! Casey! Good news, Casey dropped his phone, so all of the evidence and stuff on it is still out there somewhere. Yeah, it's a good move. Good job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to... Ooh, got us somebody to raid so we will sign out first we will start with our guest casey who are you where can people find you on the internet hello i go by ulfrig online you can find me thursday evenings on new to the party playing hyperdrive the first ember which is a star wars themed game it's so much fun we sometimes set imperial people on lava because fire is not enough um and i am pleased to announce that shortly i will begin recruiting for another game called bubble quest which will also be on new to the party um my very first time gming the campaign and i'm slightly terrified um but yeah so you can catch me there sometimes at welcome to the party as well um but that's pretty much where i chill online these days Cool, well, that sounds great. I'm, I'm really excited to see some of those things you just mentioned. <laughs> uh, you can check out my Twitch stream. Uh, it's at Vulgar Magic. Uh, and as well, I'm also going to be starting a a review set, a, uh, a channel dedicated to reviewing uh, anime and, and like 90s comic cartoons uh, with my buddy. Uh, we're, look for Red Arrow Gaming uh, coming soon. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And I am Nerdy Teddy. Hi. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Nerdy Teddy. And uh, I guess at Nerds with Dice, uh, which is kind of my new channel. Trying to get back into a regular schedule, working on that. And, and that starts with this show. Uh, I'm excited for it. it Get some other stuff in the work. Hopefully, worldwide wrestling, uh, revolutionary entertainment alliance will be up soon. I'm nice. working on it. It's just taking nice. longer than I thought it was. Other than that, we are gonna go raid our friends over at Welcome to the Party, where you can occasionally see me. Not as much anymore, uh, but. Someday I'm sure we'll be back over there as well. We will see you next time. Bye. Take care. <laughs>